video tutorial today i'm going to introduce you to curve and show you how to install it on windows without a further ado let's go to <coughs> our browser and tap here git download here we are presented with many links you are going to look for the one called it cm under that one we down we select it we click on that and then you present it with the landing page like this then here we select as our operating system in windows you select download for windows and depending to the type of operating system that we have here 32 bit or 64 bit then we choose that one here my system is 64 bit then start get this one and it will start downloading once the download is completed we go to the folder and get to the locations where our executable file is set we refresh it and select it go to properties on the properties here we are going to select this checkbox here to allow the executions save to execute then right click run as admin we are chrome accept then you are waiting for the wizard to pop up now we go to next and select here on desktop we go to the default next next we take all the default but you may customize this as you wish but in this case here we go with the default and accept then the installation is going on continuing the installations Installation is almost completed. Configuring the confidence credentials, initializing, running post install script. And bam, we are almost there. Then, once you are presented with this dialog here you select launch it with batch then finish you are presented with this prompt here and this is where we are going to run our comments now if you go back a bit and ask what is curve and to answer these questions here let's go to the official website of the projects curl download if you go to this search here you are presented with this link this results and then we go to curl this url curl.se
Now, if you ever ask yourself what is curl, then curl is a common tool in library for transferring data with URLs and it supports a bunch of protocols like listed below HGOFOS, HTTP, HTTPS, IMAP, LDAP, and, and, and FTP socks. Yeah, all this DNS over HTTPS and more. Then it's used, as we said, it's used as a comment. It's used in common line or script to transfer data. And it uses a lot of devices today and all over the internet. And if you are probably installing it now, it's because you want to make use of it. And yeah, that's all I can set here. And more information can be seen, get from this uh, website here. Now, after it is installed here, <coughs> we can go now and run, check if our program is successfully installed we go here to curl then minus minus help we can see that here it's installed and then we can now try randomly to type like to get the response to get the response we type curl and the url so if suppose that we just come here and take the website name itself come there and type curl we are presented here as you can see here we are presented with the response this is the response everything that is written here is written in a comment prompt and this is just the beginning then the same thing if you want to get uh, the header and the response you can type curl with with uh, minus l if you go here with minus L, what do we get? This is the response that we get here. We get this one. So, this is a bit here, the purpose of this video, that to install curl, show you how to install curl and run a couple of commands. And of course, you may come here and see uh, on the documentations here, documentations we have the tutorial and inside tutorial we have different comments that you can use yeah to play around so that was the purpose of this tutorial to show you how to can install it and make sure that it's rolling the next tutorial will be followed by how we intend to use it to what planning to do so stay tuned and bye Feel free to drop a comment if something that you don't get it well. Bye.